Yo, man, that nigga whack, though, like, forget him. How you even let me be with him in the first place? You ain't no friend. Got me messing around with these whack dudes. F that nigga, man, like, like, look, dude, you ain't see what you had. You ain't see what you had. Watch this clowning right now, like, you going in. Like, bro, you, I was the baddest chick you ever pulled, the baddest chick you gonna ever pull. You feel me? Like, just can't even believe I wasted time with this basic nigga. Like, like, like basic. Nigga, I was your upgrade. You was in love with potential and possibility, girl. You know how, like, when you first like be talking to somebody you be like they ain't even really that cute and then like the more you talk to them the cuter they get right don't you hate that when you be in love with who somebody could be or who they should be but not who they really are Ooh. And that's the thing he should have been he should have been happy to change he should have been eager to change like like let you know what i'm saying you the best thing that's ever happened to me let me do whatever i can you know what i'm saying to 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 make this work to make you happy to to keep this thing right exactly and the more chances you give someone the less they respect you and the more they ignore your standards now i'm all for giving grace but there needs to be progress and the very fact that there isn't any just shows that he's comfortable and he's not afraid to lose you he knows that no matter what you're not going to walk away and so you just keep addressing the same habits and you go from being patient to just wasting your time. Like, why I'm always trying to tell you how to treat me, why you should be putting me first, why you should be buying me stuff, why you should be giving me affection, why you should be giving me attention. I'm always giving these whys and he ain't asking no questions. Because these whack niggas don't want to learn nothing. <laughs> it's cool, though. Like, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, I know you saying it's cool, but I want you to be careful with all that anger because you don't want to mess around and carry this stuff from this relationship into your next one. And that anger will turn into bitterness and resentment real fast. The next thing you know, you have unforgiveness in your heart and you blocking your blessing. And I know what I'm talking about. Like, I remember when I literally had to sit down with my journal and go to my Bible coordinates in the back and write down the scriptures that talked about unforgiveness and meditate on them. And I pray and ask God to help me to walk out these scriptures and to help me to forgive and help these verses to become real in my life and that's what helped me start to break that cycle and he want to play me like oh you insecure oh you jealous or whatever no nigga you whack you whack